Hey guys, it is that time of day. It's time to get fit. It's time to have lots of fun, of course. I'm Missy Kane, and thanks for tuning in to the show. We're going to have a kind of high-intensity fun workout today, so get ready, right? Right, Yeah, (laughs) absolutely. I'm pumped, man. This is my first time. I'm ready to go. John Roethlisberger, U.S. Olympian, coach, dad, husband, Dad is the, Dad's the hardest part. TV commentator? Uh, occasional TV commentator, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Thanks for being on the show. Absolutely. Well, I, I'm, I'm thankful <laughs> to be here now, but I'll let you know at the end if I'm still thankful that I'm here. Well, I was kind of worried, too, because you're muscular and you're an Olympic Don't let that gymnast. fool you. Don't let that fool you, Miss. Uh, we're going to do some big arm circles, kind of warm it up, warm those shoulders up for John. And um, got some pictures of John in action, I think, in some of his many careers he's got going. Hey. 96, yeah, 2000, or which? Oh, that uh, that was 2000. That was right. That was the trials, actually, before the 2000 Olympics. And I can't do that anymore. That Three is Olympic long teams. over. Um, I mean, that is unbelievable to make a U.S. gymnastics team because not many people do. I mean, track yeah. and field, we have three in each event sometimes. Yeah, it's uh, it was... It was not easy, but it was uh, worth it. It's right. a great sport. It's a challenging sport. It's something different every day. You know, you never... You never are doing the same thing. Oh, yeah. Oh, That's yeah. me at Lambeau Field in my Viking jersey. All right. I think my wife and I were there together for that one. She, uh, I think she got the better of me that time. <laughs> Who's she for? We're a house divided. She's okay. a Packer fan, and oh. I'm a uh, Vikings fan. So. My neighbor, uh, David Martin, played for the Packers a couple of years. All right. Now, that's the toughest job, right? Yeah, this is. Uh, those are my two boys. That's oh. Gray. And then Quinn in the background, four and two. And the caption of this one, people at home will appreciate <laughs> this. The caption was, the home office where productivity goes to die <laughs> and there's no more true <laughs> words i mean what do you do when when uh robo dog and your four-year-old come in i mean what you gotta say okay buddy come on come on we'll do that anyway but you do a lot of tv commentary i i do i do uh mostly all just gymnastics at right. this point i'll do some uh color and, and some play-by-play and right. for the big 10 network and the sec network and whoever Whoever will have me, it's fun. Yeah. It's kind of a little hobby, so I enjoy it. That's fun. We're going to do some, also some rear end kicks, some butt kicks, they call it, back and forth, just kind of kicking up our heels a little bit. Um, as we were doing this, you also, I mean, you have a huge gym. I've heard about Flip Fest uh, in Crossville, and you end up in Crossville. Yeah, you, crazy, yeah. crazy. Um, my business partner, his name is John McCready. We're teammates on the 96 Olympic team. Right. And uh, he was involved with a small camp here in Knoxville. Knoxville Gymnastics, Phil yeah, Savage. Phil Savage. People in town Phil know who Savage. Phil is. Yeah. He's, he's infamous and famous at the same time. <laughs> and uh, he brought McCready in. Actually, McCready filled in for one of our other teammates who right. canceled at the last second, which uh-huh. if he hadn't canceled, I might not be standing with you right now because uh, that's why McCready came. He walked in the gym and he met his wife, saw her okay. across the gym and said, I'm going to marry that girl. Uh-huh. And he did. And uh, wor- kept working the camp with Phil right. Savage. We're going to march and, down uh, a bit. Eventually talked me into coming down. We found some property in Crossville. It's and we a have beautiful a, area. We did, it is beautiful. So we do a, a big summer camp. Mm-hmm. And uh, every summer we do 11 weeks of camp. Wow. And yeah, because uh, I was trying to awesome. get, we're going we're gonna to do lunges too. I forgot to tell John, the hardest part of the show is that we talk and yeah. exercise <laughs> at the same <laughs> time. <good. laughs> but um, Crossville, I lead a lot of hikes in Crossville. Crossville watches our show. Fit and fun. So Fearful Blade, Tansy, all those areas. Crossville is awesome. People don't Ozone realize Falls. it. It's beautiful. And see, I w- we almost didn't start doing the show today because I said, oh, I've got to show you my pictures of Black Mountain, Cumberland Trail. Oh, we're going. We've I've never get your been, folks. we're going. We're going. We've got to sure. get your, your camp to adopt a section of the trail, maybe a couple times a year. Go out on that, kind of check it yeah, out. And you could be official adopters. I like Flip that. Fest could have that section of the trail. I like that. Don't you like idea. That? I think well, it's great. Build right. it. All right, Billy Loggins, if you're watching, we're, we're going to set this all up. No, it is beautiful. And people need to realize in the summer, more. it's like 10 degrees cooler up there than in yeah, hot, on the hot, 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 So, yeah, head on up. It's great. Because I know in the wintertime, I let a hike up there, and it snowed there and not anywhere else around the yeah. East Tennessee area. Two more. Last set. Okay, everybody, and make sure you keep water close by. We've got water back here. We're going to do a little routine called HIT, and we'll explain that. Um, and you can find it, like I Googled last night and found a couple workouts. You can create your own, of course, but you can, it's basically, your wife loves this, right? Yeah, well, she ropes me into this, and, and when she sees the show, she's going to critique <laughs> my performance. But, uh, no, it's great. The, the thing I think is important about working out is everybody talks about, we need to work out, I need to get in shape. Right. Just do something. And this mm-hmm. is a, the perfect example. You can do this in your living room. You can do it in your right. you know, bedroom. You can do it in your backyard, whatever. It just gets you up and gets you doing something. And what we're going to do is like 45 seconds. So 45 seconds of an activity. 
and then 15 second rest. So because I'm hyperactivity, you know, is my middle name. What we're gonna do on the rest part is you can rest if you really need to, or just march it out to get your Fitbit steps or whatever you're logging your steps. Or you can just pass out like me, and we'll be fine. <laughs> Lay down. But they say not to like, you know, to go down too quickly. So we're gonna start out with something that I'm really bad at, but we're gonna do 45 seconds of push-ups starting now. That's so we're gonna come down here. Um, 45 40. seconds, and I'm just gonna, I don't even go down all the way. And um, I got a clock up there. And what you can do out there is you can use the side of your countertop. Try to keep your back straight. You could even go down to your knees like this. We're doing good. We've got about 20 more seconds. I hope you're tired because I'm getting tired. I am already. Feel the and burn. You can make this 30 seconds. I'm feeling the burn in the triceps already. <laughs> yeah, but like you said, Five you can more. put the knees down, anything. Four. Three, two, one. Okay, get back up, and we're oh, just going to uh, move around a little bit. Stretch that arm out while we're marching. 15 seconds. But this does work, and sometimes you just need kind of a, like a little plan. Five seconds more. And then our next thing is going to be squats. So I want to get, you have a kettlebell over there. We're going to add a little bit to our, I got we can hold weight. this like this. And I don't go down really deep on my Squats. I'm going to go with my heavy weight. <laughs> I like that. That heavy three pound. And we, um, this will kind of help with balance too. Hikers out there, squats are really good to do. Because you got to have strong quads. Climb up those mountains over there. Brady Mountain is off 68. I'm going to take you guys to Brady too. There's an old, a few leftover parts from a crash 20 years ago. A what? An airplane crash. Really? Yeah. Wow, that's cool. Love to check that out. And of course, you can travel 20 minutes and go to um, Burgess Falls. Uh -huh. You have four sets of waterfalls right off the Cook Collects. There's so many great waterfalls, too, and I've seen like one of them. I think when you you'll live in an area, yeah. <laughs> you're the last one to actually go see all the, the cool stuff. 14 more seconds. Good job, everybody. And um, the kids love Ozone Fall. It's only like that quarter mile hike, but you got to be careful with ditch, right? Yeah. Keep them close enough. Yeah, definitely on Ozone Falls. If you've been there, you got to watch them all the time. Four more. You never realize how long 45 seconds is until you're doing squats or push ups. <laughs> okay, set this down. Close to you. All right, we got about 12 more seconds. Marching it out. Good job. Thank you. And you're from Minnesota? Originally from Minnesota, yeah. And your dad was your coach growing up? My dad coached me. He was a, an Olympian in 1968. Wow. My sister was on the 84 Olympic team, as we hey, talked about. We've got to get pictures out, y'all. I was actually on the team track, and I think she was close, because yeah. Mary Lou was right in front of me yeah, walking Yeah, we were just out. talking about that. My sister walked out in the opening ceremonies with, yeah. with the other gymnasts, and you were probably right behind her. We, so small cool. world. I know. All right. Now, next thing we're doing is, um, oh, we're doing butt kick so oh. it's kind of anything kind of fast I mean you could run them but I'm just going back and forth however it looks anytime we can kick some butt that's good <laughs> that's a good thing kids love these so we're doing this 45 seconds so this is more of a aerobic little workout you didn't tell me I was actually gonna sweat when I came <laughs> it's like drive all over from Crossville it'll be a 25 minutes show that's it half hour show and then we want to welcome to our WCTE Folks, they share our show between East Tennessee PBS right here and WCTE out of Cookville. So some of my buddies, I'm from Nashville, and so some of my buddies see this show Saturday and Sunday early, right. 5, 5 a.m. So, so how often you get back to Nashville? Or you don't I get back there? to Nashville probably once every two months. My sister lives there, and um, I'm on a board, Tennessee Sports Hall of Fame board oh, there. Nice. So we, I love Nashville, but man, the traffic. Yeah, I love so Nashville good. too. It's getting bad though, right? Traffic. I love to go. Traffic Went biking everywhere. at Henry Horton State Park two weeks ago. Five seconds. Good job, everybody. Okay, now march it out. Woo. Yeah, because that was kind of getting those hands. Yeah, right here. I fell yeah. right on the side. So do you have time to work out much? Not enough. My favorite thing to do is play basketball though. You if see, my body's yeah. not falling apart. <laughs> and you played a little late yesterday. Well, right? you know, gym gymnasts are made for basketball. Short and slow. <laughs> Sometimes coordination is questionable. <laughs> no, but uh, I did play yesterday. It was fun. Play with a few buddies over at the Gold's Gym on the west side. Oh, yeah. 
and Pommel Horse. That was one of your best events of all. I mean, it was at the, at the end of my career, especially. That's kind of my, my world uh, champion and uh, six-time world champion. No, I like I like where you're going with that, but uh, no, I did not win any world championships. <laughs> okay. But but we can go with it. We can tell the people that. <laughs> it sounds good. I, I saw I saw something about that. So. World champion. That in was my own NCAA. Mind. NCAA champion. Well, that, hey, that's good. Hey, that's, that's good. just as good, that's right? Good. All right, now we got to switch on to. Tricep dips. Okay, what we're going to do for that, you can use your countertop, you can use a bench. We're going to kind of get in the front of our, or to the side, any angle, and we're going to, you can do it like this to make it a little easier, or like this to make it harder. This is going to be- Watch that shoulder, those shoulders. I yeah. can feel it in yeah, my shoulder. Yeah, you kind of change it to fit your, because I was saying shoulders must be one of the number one injuries, right? Yeah, make sure that range of motion, you're uh, stretching them out. Okay, we only have 15 more seconds. Good job. And you can do them slowly. Good job. Just making sure that isolating the tricep, the back of your arm muscle. Five more seconds. You can do it out there. Woo, burning. Yeah. Two, one. Good job. All right. A little, a little water. A little water. Now, do y'all ever have camps for adults? Uh, we have, we do retreat. We do a lot of retreat. All right, that would be We neat. actually have a- uh, Did you have a lake where you're situated? We do, yeah. In the off season when we're not doing a gymnastic camp in the summer, we do uh, a lot of retreats. Schools and churches from the area have come uh -huh. out. A lot of local ones here in Knoxville. Some from Nashville as well. And it's great. It's, okay. uh, you know, they can still get in the gym. You know, yeah. we don't do gymnastics with them per se, but they can uh, jump in the pits. We got big foam pits wow. and we have a high ropes course. And, we have all the lake activities. And get, I'm going to get a, a meeting with John, and I'm going to get my Windy Warrior buddies I work with, too. They that would, would love to come over. That would be phenomenal. And then we'll work on the Cumberland Trail. That would be uh, that would be awesome. I like Got that idea. Yeah, yeah, if anybody locally has has a group, a church group, a school group, we have a lot of fun with them, especially in the fall. The fall is so beautiful up right. there. That, uh, so just kind of Google Foot Fast and Cookville? You can Google uh, Lake Francis Retreats. Okay. Lake Francis Retreats is our, uh, our retreat uh, okay. business. And, uh, yeah, come on out. We'd love to have you guys. Right. It's a lot of fun. And you can find me on Facebook and Twitter when I remember Twitter. But and I, if you want to message me, I'll tell you all about it. Okay. Our next thing. Oh, this is going to be fun. This is side lunges. And I'm going to have to change. I'm going to use my kettlebell um, mm. to get a little arm workout here. I'm going to show them what it's like with no weight. I think it's yeah. important that somebody does right. it. Yeah. Don't you think? I think that's good. Because I can't go down really far on my side, side lunges. And make sure your rear end is sticking out in the back so that your knees are safe. And we'll pan down and show what our lower body's doing. There we go. So you want to make sure, I've got like John's doing my toes kind of out to the side, heel, putting the weight on our heels. 20 more seconds. 15. Yeah, I think it's important. You, you know, you want to push yourself to get the heart rate going, but also just find your level. Like you said, to hurt your knees, don't go as yeah, deep. Yeah, do, do baby can, squats here. You can handle more, add weight like you did. Five seconds. You Bottom line is get up and move, though. So that's what I really like. Okay, we're going to set this down. I really like um, Fitbit or challenges. I have a shout out from my visually impaired team I work with, Bob's. We're on a six month program. Jacoby's been on my show, Totally Blind. Wow. They all got Fitbits through uh -huh. this program and they're averaging well over 12,000 steps a day. Wow, great. And some of them do 30,000 steps a day in their house. They've got a little wow. track they do. Good for them. They have lost weight. Uh, a couple have diabetes. Their meds, meds have That's gone awesome. down. Because they're so fired up about this chat. Yeah. We're leading the country right now. Wow. Knoxville compared to 16 clubs that really impaired. Um, Phenomenal. But anyway, so it just shows that just walking, just getting up and moving around. This Jared, who averages close to 20 plus thousand a day. Wow. Three times a day for an hour, he gets up and does a routine around his apartment. That's phenomenal. You know, amazing. Yeah, you don't have to have fancy equipment. Just uh, find something you like to do and, and make it your yeah. own. Yeah. All right, we're going to go back to... Phase one, push-ups. And now if you want to do a different type of push-up, you can, or you know what you could do? I'm gonna do on this one, I'm gonna do, you can do push-ups, I'm gonna hold a plank. I thought you were gonna do one-arm push-ups. Of course, of course. I didn't want to show you up though. No, that's yeah. good, because <laughs> you would. 
push-ups or a plank. All right, good job. Can hurt that shoulder? Yeah, really. I can't imagine when you do that iron cross move on the the rings. Watching the Olympics, I just I just hurt for those guys. Well, it's gotten so much harder too, just since I've retired. I mean, in the last 15 years, gymnastics has gone through the roof. The difficulty level is absolutely uh, insane. Okay, you saw the last that. Olympics. You know what I'm talking about. Yes, 10 seconds more. Unless people get picked now, I think that is really tough too. The team is smaller. I know. Yeah, it's, it's even going to be smaller next time. It's going to go to four people. Oh, wow. that's just not fair. Right? Okay, good job. Oh, boy. hand for for John Roethlisberger. He did awesome. Awesome. <laughs> All right, march out a little bit more. We got about ten more minutes. We're doing good. So really, this routine, this hit that we're doing, you can take six exercises and maybe march in between, forty-five seconds on, fifteen seconds off and do it two or three times and that's a whole workout. Absolutely, and you can make up anything you want. It doesn't have to be designed by somebody else. Find right. five exercises you like to do that feel good to your body that aren't gonna hurt you. So and does your wife you pick out the out. routine? She usually finds them online and she makes sure that they're really painful for me, <laughs> I think. Um, next one is squat. So you can get a weight or no weight at all. I'll get a weight this And we're time. gonna do toes out a little bit. Remember, keep your weight on your heels. And you know, I can only go down this far. If you want to do sumo squats, you kids out there, teenagers, you do, you go for it. But I'm doing kind of the safety measure here. So do you have any uh, serious injuries while you're a, a track athlete? Oh, always. And that's, I don't run anymore. Um, I tore my ACL after the Olympics in 84. I was training on the track and a guy got in my way and I oh, no. stopped quickly and tore my ACL. Oh, that's awful. And I didn't repair it that year, but I kept running and I got my best times the three years after that, but then years and years of not having the ACL. Yeah. But shin splints. Yeah. Plantar fasciitis. I bet shin splints would be bad. Love track. Met a lot of great people. Took me a lot of places. But I always tell people, you know, even though I'm sad I don't run, I just, I'm, hiking's opened up yeah. a whole new world in biking. Yeah. And probably in a lot of ways is good, if not better, to exercise. Low impact. And right. Keep that body You've moving. taken up basketball. Basketball is definitely not low impact. <laughs> My but it Achilles. sure is fun. Be careful those Achilles. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and <laughs> I seconds. have a sore Achilles. <laughs> Funny you bring that up. Okay, we're going to stretch that out at the end. Okay, set that down. Good job, everybody. 15 second marching, or if you need to stretch your Achilles, you could stretch your Achilles. Each time, just do a little. You know, men have shorter, when I was at get my master's, men predominantly have shorter Achilles. Really? Mm-hmm. The attachment is shorter huh. on your heel, you know, and so that's why you hear a lot of guys, you know, the Achilles I never knew that, yeah. Sometimes get treatment with the PT and then sometimes slight heel lifts in both shoes until it kind of gets over. I that. have some heel lifts in right yeah. now, as a matter of fact, I agree with that one. That's the only thing with the athlete, since we've had all kinds of injuries, we've kind of learned by doing a little yeah. bit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and your athletes can't put anything past you, it's right? You gotta stay, stay, stay one step ahead. <laughs> Okay, next one is uh, butt kicks. And remember, when you go like this, if that hurts your um, hamstrings too much, you can go fast at knee lift. So. You know, I never really did the butt kicks, I'll be honest with you. Uh -huh. But I never realized how much they kind of burn the outside of my legs right here. Right, and then track people, we used to do these um, as a warm up, but straight ahead, kind of like you're jogging like this. Uh -huh. And so that would be uh, a track workout, see like that. But um, that's too aerobically challenging. Yeah, I'm going to just <laughs> keep it down here a little bit. Ten more seconds. Good job. You guys can do it. And again, it's called Lake what? Lake Francis Retreat. Francis Retreat. So that's Ooh. where Flip Fest is held. Yep. And camps and retreats for adults. Adults, churches. churches yeah. Kids groups. Neat. Had a lot of those. Crossville. It's only an hour and ten minutes from Knoxville. Yep. Probably hour and 20 from Nashville, right? Yeah. Probably about hour and 10 an hour from and Chattanooga, and right? You're yeah. right in the middle. Yep. Yeah, it's a great spot. Yeah, we're about an hour and a half from the Nashville airport. Mm -hmm. Like you said, an hour from Knoxville. Right. Okay, we did those. Now we're going back to um, marching it out. Let's see what steps I've gotten in. I've gotten in about 1,000 steps so far, about 1,500. Good job, everybody. So remember, it's 15 seconds of a relaxing or easy exercise or stretch. 45 seconds of something tougher. Coming up next, we are doing dips. Oh, yeah. 
You yeah, your rest should not be the stationary log roll. That's <laughs> yeah, no. yeah, it should be. A, you should keep moving. Well, it's good for your heart too. If you kind of just stop suddenly, that's when you get yeah. heart issues. So we don't want. And to once you stop, it's harder to start again. That's right. Objects in motion tend to stay in that's motion. True. Let's run a hike. We do stop for the lunch break, but not longer than ten minutes. Yeah. Or it's it's tough. All right, triceps. We're going to work the oh, back okay. of the arm. So we're going to come in front of our steps with kind of side angle here for camera reasons and going up and down. Good job, 40 more seconds. Isolate those triceps. Good job, we got about five minutes left in the show and that's it, buddy. Ooh, you guys take another five minutes afterwards maybe and stretch some areas that are troublesome. Cannot yeah. say enough about how important stretching is. Every night, watching TV, get down on the floor, stretch a little bit. Play with the boys, right? <laughs> yep, exactly. Crawling all over you. Four, three, two. Oh, yeah. Three, one. Woo! Oh, all right. Man. I'm doing good. Okay. March right. it out. Keep Keep stretch moving. out that Don't arm, stop. too. Stretch oh, out at the same time. I think we almost got through the whole. Well, we got one more thing of side lunges. Do one more exercise and cool it down. That's one thing we are bad about, John, when we do our hikes, because we have such a great time. Let's say we do a Black Mountain to Brady Mountain loop, and we talk afterwards, and I try to remind people when they're talking, stand there and stretch your yeah, quad, yeah. you know, and hamstring. You know. And I think it's one thing very few people do, honestly. Like even, mm -hmm. yeah. you know, guys that play, like I play basketball with, stretching is such a small part of it. Yeah. And honestly, if, if, if I was going to pick one thing, if you said I, I can only do one thing physically, <coughs> right. you know, whether it be running or or uh I'll go this sorry way. that's okay <laughs> running or stretching. running uh -huh. or w lifting weights or crossfit or whatever it is if i had to pick one thing and i could only do one thing i'd recommend stretching honestly mm, keeping that body loose and mm -hmm. keeping that range of motion and keeping your joints healthy and especially as you get older well, I, I recommend my hikers i said take a class in tai chi or yoga Yo once yeah. a, you know even chair yoga yeah, I love yoga, and it's it's not easy either. No. People think, oh, yoga, that's ridiculous, but it's uh, it's really quite challenging. It makes you feel so Four, good when you're done. Three, two, one. Good job, everybody. Oh. All right, great job. A little water. Keep that water close by. Wow. I like the coffee mug water you got. Yeah, we got the PBS there. Used to see PBS. And speaking of yoga, we're going to do like a, a stretch for John Thank you. Achilles. So we kind of concentrate on keeping that heel flat in the back. Same time, we'll lift those arms up a little bit more like a warrior type of pose. For the next couple minutes. Kind of lift tall up. And for my seniors, which I am, this helps too on balance. Even though it looks easier, working a little bit on balance. Because I find as... Some of my hikers age, their aerobic capacity is still pretty good. Uh -huh. But if you don't work on that balance, yeah. range of motion and balance, boy, that can really affect your hiking because we got a lot of stream crossings and yep. rocks to climb down to go see o yeah. ozone falls, yeah. you know? Got to keep that agility. You know, my grandparents, my, my mom's parents were really active, you know, throughout their mm -hmm. life, lived into their early 90s. and. They golfed a lot, and, and just keeping your legs strong and oh, being yeah. able to use your legs and get around, I think, is a huge key to to their quality of life and, and honestly, their longevity, because as soon as you lose those legs and become sedentary, everything starts to slow down, oh, I feel yeah. like. Speaking of golf, this is a good <sighs> low back. One back and forth trunk twist, because we know Crossville is the golf capital. It see. is. You know that. It is. I try to golf once a week in the summer. I'm horrible. <laughs> it's I, beautiful, though, isn't it? Some of the uh, courses, Stonehenge and some of those. They don't let me on the good courses, you see, actually. They're like, <laughs> they, they see my game, them. and they're like, no, you, you're not allowed to come on our course. No, but there are some great courses beautiful. out there. A lot of fun. And I, I was talking to Billy and some of them. John Conrad, shout out to the Fairfield uh, Blades hikers. There's you know, hundreds of them. Last one. And um, we're going to do a hamstring stretch now. But John and the guys, some of them, you know, some of that group hikes, but a lot of them came there thinking golf, but their spouses or they ended up doing hikes too. Uh -huh. So it's good to cross train even yeah. in your, your 70s. You oh, know? Ab absolutely. And, you know, it's funny. We have a lot of parents that drop their kids off for summer camp mm -hmm. and they stay. You know, they go to, they stay in the Crossville area oh, and yeah. do a lot of the things you're talking about or they go to, uh, 
Gatlinburg and Pigeon right. Forge, and it's it's fun to see the people come in that uh, you know are from Chicago right. or or Florida. Well, I'll come and in like, and leave hey, a hike for them sometime. What that? I'll come leave that'd a hike for them. You know? That would be great. That would be awesome. So. Well, you open I love the door any excuse, now. We're gonna any excuse to get up there, I love to get Well, up you open the door. you got to be careful what you okay. wish for. All right. <laughs> All right, last stretch, guys. Doing good. I mean, I always say life is more fun when you're fit. So, like John said, do something, right? Yeah. Get up there. Just get up and move. Get up and move. Good job. Last stretch. We're going to try to do a little bit of quad stretch. If I can right, put your arm out here. There we go. This ought to be interesting. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. A little balance there. Oh, yeah. Good job. Did you sweat a little bit? I did. I'm, I'm, I'm definitely starting to sweat. I, I'm not going to lie. If we'd done a third round, you might have to bring in, you know, EMT or something. <laughs> I was getting worn out. Good job, guys. Bye. Thank you. It was fun.